in order to create a new dynamic web application working with the IntelliJ first you need to select create new project then select Java Enterprise option on the left and here on the right select the option web application if you intend to use one of the frameworks you can get a jump start using one of these available options if you plan to develop a simple in dynamic web application it would be sufficient selecting this option only here you should define the application server you intend to use make sure you have a project SDK defined and if not then follow this button in order, in order to define one the same with the application server if you don't have an application server configured just press new and follow the wizard the available wizard over here for example if it is a simple tomcat web container just select tomcat server and then select the folder where tomcat is installed as in my case you can see that I have Tomcat installed over here so I could select this folder and follow on the steps I already did it but just for the demonstration I will do it again so it's, it identifies the installation and then you just press OK and you have it set so now I have two uh, configurations for the same Tomcat okay let's move forward here you can uh, select the createweb.xml file if you want to have one and then I press next I specify the name of the project let's say its name is our demo it would be also the name of the folder where all files will be saved and the last step is pressing finish and now I have the project opened and here you can find the web folder where you can find web.inf with all web in files and here you can find the um, J inside the web folder itself you can find all the JSP files etc in order to develop a simple JSP file I just need to select the folder web where I want the JSP file to be saved and right click select new and select JSP let's call it hello.jsp and let's write some code Now, in order to execute this JSP file, you first need to understand that using IntelliJ, each project is composed of modules, one module or more. Uh, in the case of a simple project, then we have one project with one module, as in this case. Now, if I um, select the module, I can find Open Module Settings and here you can find the just select from all modules you have currently you have just one module in our project so I select the one and only module and over here I can find the mapping mapping that says that all of those JSP files we have inside the web folder in order to um, get them work in order to send an HTTP request that will execute them uh, we just need uh, to specify the name of the machine localhost uh, the port uh, and then just a simple uh, slash and the name of the JSP file that's all uh, we can change this uh, mapping but first let's see how does it work 
So I want to execute this uh, hello.jsp file. If I press this play button, I get Tomcat up and running. And here I just need to place slash and hello.jsp and here it is work as expected. Now if we want to change this uh, mapping, just open the module setting, select the module you want to configure and over here just edit, press this uh, button in order to edit it into something else, let's say sample slash. Now if we execute it again we get the message that uh, it is already running so we can ask just for updating the classes and resources or just resources or redeploy uh, let's just restart the server that's all and now in order to execute just write sample and hello.jsp In order to develop a servlet, let's uh, first create a package where the servlet source code will be saved. So I select src and then right click new and select to create a new package. And here I will create the servlet, so I select the package, right click and select new servlet and the name will be Shalom servlet. I keep this uh, checkbox marked because I want to have the annotations in my code. Okay, now let's create a simple servlet. Let's start with uh, setting the content type. Let's get a print writer. Let's change the import so print writer will be recognized. And let's return a simple reply. Okay, now as you can see on top we have the annotation web servlet. Web servlet is the annotation through which we can configure the servlet. In order to get a detailed information about the possibilities when using the web servlet annotation, let's search the web for the API documentation of this annotation. And as we can see, part of the name attribute, we have the URL patterns attribute. However, while name attribute is assigned with a simple string, URL patterns should be assigned with an array of strings. So, let's create kind of an array. An array of strings that each and every one of them is a pattern that will invoke, execute this uh, specific servlet. So we can specify one pattern, we can specify two, three, as many as we want. Let's specify just one. It will be a simple one. So let's specify something simple. Uh, slash A, slash B, slash C. If you want to specify more than one, you can specify another one. Let's say serve let's slash shalom. Now let's check the settings of our module. So currently we have only one module and the settings said I said that the 
path relative to deployment root is a simple uh, slash so this means that if we start the web container then in order to execute our servlet one option is just write this text right over here another option is specifying this text right over here 